Hey guys, welcome back. And um, we're going to attempt to test my theory here. Switch the console. Switch it. Configure console room. Copper theme. Okay. We're going to test my theory. That going different doors will lead to different locations. So like walking through here leads straight in here. Like that. Right. A little blue light in here. And that leads back to the TARDIS. See, somehow when I'm wandering around in here, I never find this. Like, how do I never wander back into the TARDIS control room? Isn't that funny, huh? Wander in here. And if you go to this door, it also leads back to the control room. Logic, right? Don't question it too hard. It doesn't deserve it. So, let's find the swimming pool so we can actually get on with some interesting things, you know? Get on with some activities. So it would be kind of nice to actually do something other than wander around the TARDIS looking for the stupid swimming pool. Luckily, the one that I likely will be using the most, which seems to be the workshop, will be the easiest to find. As it's seemingly easy enough for me to find that one. Ugh, I just want to find the swimming pool real quick, that's all. Ugh, it's the wardrobe room again. Uh, I don't know, it's upsetting, just trying to find this stuff. Hello? Hello? Swimming pool? Where are you? Oh, it's the control room. I don't know where it is. Somebody tell me. I hunt for the swimming pool. Hunt for the swimming pool. That's the control room. Hunt for the swimming pool, hunting for the swimming pool. This is me singing horribly because I can't find the swimming pool. Uh, I just want to go for a swim. Gosh, all this walking around the TARDIS making me stir crazy. Ah! Circled back on myself. Mm. I don't know what level it's on. If I knew what level it's on, it'd be easier, but I really don't know. Whoop, whoop. Control room? Yes. And the, the workshop should be right down here to the left, right? Okay, maybe not. Hello? No, go that way. It's gonna... No, just go this way. What the heck? See what I mean? This, this place is a freaking maze of weirdness. Is that... What is this? That's the wardrobe again, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I just want to find the swimming pool. Sweet mahogany Jesus, where is it? I'm sure there's just one obscure path through the TARDIS back here that I haven't taken yet. And that's the one the swimming pool's on the end of. I just haven't taken it. Oh. Uh, there's a little corner right here if I... W Wait a minute, what the... What the heck? What? Okay, then that was kind of creepy. What was that? Why? I'm so confuzzled at the moment. I'm so confused. I can't find this stupid swimming pool. It's starting to drive me insane. Is it on the bottom floor? I really don't know. Where is this thing? No, oh, let's go the other way. Oh, I don't know where it is. God, we spent several episodes just exploring the stupid TARDIS. Oh. Be lovely to know where the swimming pool is. Dump it into space at some point. Oh my god. Alright, that's that weird control room thing, which I assume is only there because I have to uh, make a fob watch and I can use it to, I don't know, turn myself out of being a Time Lord, maybe? I don't, I don't really don't know. Because currently, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be a Time Lord right now. As of this, this second right in here, I'm not a Time Lord.
Okay. Okay. I've concluded it is not down here. It is not on this lower floor. It must be elsewhere. I really don't know where it would be, though. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, man. I'm losing my mind because I can't find this thing. Oh, jeez. Losing my mind. <sighs> Ugh. Okay, self repair systems and fabricators. Oh, I can do fabrication up here. Huh, that's kind of cool. Whoops. That's neat. Um. Engine release. Oh. Ah, yes, this is how you make repairs to the Lidartos. You just you hit that button there and. Okay, so, um. I don't know. Maybe, it, let's read this book. Maybe it'll tell me. Uh, each floor is a link via which can be used simply stepping into the. Hit anti gravitas will not function if the power levels are at zero, yes. Uh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That is of no assistance. Oh boy, I was. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, we're okay. We're okay. Tordian theme. Right. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've lost my mind at this point. I'm just wandering around exploring, see if I can find anything. Well, that lets me exit. That's good. It's a jukebox or gramophone, whatever. I don't know. lost my mind at this point. Yeah, unbeknownst to the occupant, the TARDIS may change its design. You big surprise. It's fracking annoying. That's probably what that glitch was. That was probably how they do it, is that the TARDIS auto-generates and rechanges itself. And that's probably what that was. That weird glitch where I was like going poop, 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 and popping back and forth or whatever. That was probably the TARDIS changing. Like when you walk by, it probably nonchalantly like pops you back into a different part of the hallway or something. So it looks like it's just looping over and over again when really it's not. <gasps> it's the pool! I'm so happy! <laughs> I found it! Thank you. God, I found it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Ah. ah, there we go. Hypercube. <laughs> Flying space. That's what you're right. Like, isn't it? Flying space. Well, that was kind of creepy. Now, you know what bugs me more, though? Is I've only found eight hypercubes. There's supposed to be 13 of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks good. A little weird. Kind of looks like a preacher or something. I'll keep that on. Maybe there's more hypercubes in Yule World or something. It's part of the quest line. I guess we can go there. Not in this episode, though. This episode's dedicated. This episode was dedicated to finding the stupid pool, which doesn't seem to have any purpose other than. Hypercube in the pool. Oh my gosh, I need to get out of this place. What's this? Oh, it's a storage room. Is there a hypercube in here? Just, just double check. There's no hypercube hiding behind these boxes or anything. Nothing, no. Alright. Yeah, it gave me some random ammunition. Not sure why the doctor has bullets and ammo sitting on his TARDIS, but you know, I guess I won't question it too much. Now I gotta get out of here. 
future reference, the pool is on the level with the uh, storage room. Whatever <laughs> level that is. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we're back here. This is the Edwardian theme. Um, primary systems configuration. Oh, or we can just uh, enable homing beak. Oh, I bet if I turn that on, it's, it brings people in, and I probably don't want to do that. Okay, let's reconfigure this room again. Uh, let's go back to the glitch theme for a second. Glitch theme. Yeah, I can't go out the door in the glitch theme, which is kind of unfortunate because I actually would kind of enjoy goofing around in the glitch in the glitched version. I think that would be kind of cool. This is an interesting. Uh... Okay, I don't care. Hear nothing. Big surprise. There's probably no one on there right now. Okay. Um, classic. Very nice, very nice. Still can't go out the door. I think that might be a glitch. But, you know, what you gonna do, right? I don't know. I'm guessing the rest of the stuff is at Yule World, but I don't want to go there right now because I've already started this episode. That's gonna be a dedicated episode. We might we might just cut this one kind of short. Um, You know, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, go back to Retro for a second. Whoa. Yeah. I think that just means I can stick that on uh, any character. Yeah, you can just put it on any character. The scarf <laughs> looks ridiculous, though. And this suit just comes with it already on there. The scarf looks ridiculous, though. Uh, what was I wearing? The Ace Doctor's outfit. Yeah. So, um... Can I get out? No, I can't leave in this version. Storage cabinet. Is there a storage cabinet on the, on any of the other ones? I don't think so. It's K9. I wish I could activate you. Okay, so, um, is the workshop right there? I don't know where the workshop is, unfortunately, in this, because it comes out a different door. That's the only curse of these. Di oh, yeah, there's that glitch. Go back. <laughs> There's a couple glitches in some of these other themes, if you hadn't noticed. But, oh, Jesus. It seems like the main theme that they originally intended for you to use is probably the 11th Doctor. That's probably the one that they built first. Ugh. Um, I'll probably use that one. I mean, I would love to store all my stuff in a more realistic kind of way, like put my stuff in the wardrobe room or something. It's just so hard to find things. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to lose anything. Anyways, I'm going to probably cut this episode a little shorter than usual, just because the whole goal of this episode was to find the pool, and we already did that. But, uh... There we go. Back to the control room. I wish I could activate K9... There's not even an option to do anything with it. It's just K9 Mark II. Oh, I want K9. K9's cool. What's that? Anything out there? No. How do I... Oh, wait. It's kind of glitchy. Oh, what was that? Oh, just a glitch. Oh, wait. Okay. Well, I guess uh, for the time being, we will stick with the copper theme. Which is this. Which I guess is supposed to be more like the standard one. Oh, we want that. I want the, uh, the fez. Mm, didn't do anything. Um... I don't think there's a storage thing in this part of the uh, TARDIS, unfortunately. It's just a bunch of weird chairs. There's that thing down there. The TARDIS toolkit. I could just store all my stuff in there, but that seems kind of silly. We'll probably just put it in the uh, workshop, actually, because we go to the workshop pretty much every day, which is right down here. Go in there. Turn right. 
and left, and there it is. See, I can find the workshop with pretty much no problem whatsoever, because it's the one the AI lady took me to. It's right here. Yeah, I don't know. I should probably refine other stuff. I just don't know what else I probably need. I guess I should be able to... I don't know what any of this stuff is. Here, let's put all the stuff... Okay, so we've got, like, the stu this stuff, which is stuff you create in here. Uh, not the quantum cells. Actually, the quantum cells aren't supposed to be in there. Bazoolium, Jarad, all that stuff is supposed to be created in there. Right, all that stuff gets created in there, all these things. And then in here we create all this stuff. Quantum cells probably go in there. I don't know what this is, but we're going to stick it in there. A chronon coil, it sounds some like something that what doesn't belong. Actually, quantum cell, yeah, quantum cells are right there, and a focusing carp carburetor, I think, is in there. Yeah, I've got some stuff in there. And then this was just like the normal bench. This is a normal reloading bench and stuff. You would just put normal stuff in here. Scrap metal to lead. Yeah, see, I remember I did that a lot. So, uh, we can just store our stuff in here. We can just put all this stuff in here. Stuff we aren't going to be using right now. Because we have a bunch of random shite. I don't know what Nitro 9 is, but we're going to hold on to it, because it could come in handy. It's actually a really good melee one. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly good. I mean, the Bruschetti... Uh, wait for it to switch. It's 12, and these are 17. So we're going to hold on to that. I'm going to keep the cane. Put the throwing spears away. I'm not going to use those. I'm going to stick the 9 mil away in here also. And the laser pistol, the binoculars. Keep my equipment down, you know, pretty. Wait, what? Wait a minute, what is this? The Dapper Gambler and the Jamie McGrimmins killed? What? Oops, you didn't see that. Okay, well, first off, I don't need those because I'm wearing. So I've already got what I'm going to be wearing for now. Actually, we're going to probably put the reading glasses. Keep that. We might need that. But what is this? This, What is that? Oh, interesting. Looks like a preacher. What is this? What the f... Ow. Oh, it's a kilt. That's random. Don't need that, though. Because we're going to look like this guy. That's actually... It, it's pretty sick. I like it. It's actually pretty good. So we're just going to store all of the stuff we're not using in here. Oops. Yeah, one more. Nope. There we go. Store all that kind of stuff in there for now because we don't need it. Uh, miscellaneous. Scrap metals. Actually, don't. No, don't, don't put the scrap metal in there. We can just throw that in one of these over here. Because these are like literally just random stuff. See, there's scrap metal in here already. We might need some of this stuff anyways there. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're getting all warrant set up here. Oh, Mark 8. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to see that, actually. What that looks like, Mark 8. I don't actually know what that... I don't remember what that looks like, actually. Oh. It, well, what's the point of giving me all these different skins if three of them look basically identical? City. Pitch to that one. Well, I'm sure I can get the tenth Doctor's one. Well, ninth and tenth Doctor's Sonics. I bet I can get River Sonic too. I'm not sure how, but I'm sure I can. I know. There's probably. I bet there's more hypercubes on Yule World, and I think we're gonna go there in the next episode. But first, we're gonna gear up a little bit. Um, first, we need a few bits of equipment. Uh, maybe a companion, too. We should probably go out and find a companion. A bio-dampener. I don't really know what that is. A bio-container. I really don't know what that is. We don't need another Sonic for the time being, at least. We probably want more of these. I can make one of those now, actually. That'd probably be a good idea. And I want one of those. That's something I wanted. So I need scrap and lock I think I had everything... 
Well, I messed this part up, I think. But I had mostly everything. I just didn't have any scrap electronics. So there might be some lying around in here someplace. Scrap electronics. There we go. Let's see if we can make one right now. Just just as an emergency, right? Oh, oops, wrong one. This one. Uh, we need uh, two of those. I think... Oops, I didn't mean to take them all. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else did you need? Focusing copperator, I've got that. Uh, eight electronic wiring. And the g Whatever that is. Okay. So, uh, let's go back to the miscellaneous. Yeah, we're gonna build this real quick. And then, uh, how many do I want to go over there? I want four to go over there. I want to hold on to eight. I need one of those. Go over here. I need some of that. One. Oh, which one make? Is it the trisolite that makes the? Uh, yeah, it's the trisolite that makes the wiring. This is something I need. Trisolite, take all of that. Exit. What did I put in here? Trisolite. Very nice. Make some more. Oh, uh, let's see how much uh, electronic wiring. So I should have. Pretty much everything except the wiring. Yeah, I just need three more wiring. So let's uh do a little dance. Boom 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 Upgrade workbench. Probably if I get more upgrade, I bet I can upgrade the Mar the uh, Sonic again. And I know there's a laser screwdriver. I know there is. I think I built it once. But I think it did this. I think I built it. Well, back when I played an older version, I think I found the laser screwdriver blueprints. I don't remember where I found them, but I found them. And I remember building it. I think I built it and the Sonic, but I think they did the same thing at the time because I don't think I had the ability to upgrade them. So my Sonic and the laser both just locked and unlocked doors, I think. But I think the difference was um I think the difference was that um I think I bet when you upgrade them farther, I bet the laser can actually like kill people and then the Sonic can probably do something to electronics. Like uh, electronic enemies, it can probably send out like a shut down electronics and stuff, which would be cool. I actually kind of wish you could do that thing where you put two Sonics and put them together and go bee, and then everything explodes. Well, all the glass would shatter anyway. It's nothing really explodes, I guess. Whoa! Oh, that's producing. Oh, that's producing four piece. Oh, I trans my engineering went up. Sweetness. That was nice. My trans-dimensional engineering. Well, I can make... Well, let's make all of them. And then just stick the ones we don't need in here. So uh, three of them. There we go. Oh, can I, uh... Yes! I don't know what the difference is as of yet. Scan for life signs. Interesting. I don't really know what that would accomplish, but you know. Atomic shredder. Boom. Okay, we got our atomic shredder in here. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. I don't know what nitro does. Okay, so now we can scan for stuff. We can hack and lock pick with our sonic. Sweet. So yeah, I'll probably just spend a, a game or so just sitting in here and uh, doing some some like work in there. Like I'll just build a bunch of random stuff so that my my skill level will go up. Uh, that way, I can uh, get a maximum level Sonic and all that kind of good stuff. And I oh yeah, can I build a fob watch? I think I got a, a blueprint for that. I didn't check. Oh well. Oh actually, the fabricator is in here, isn't it? There's a fabricator button. 
someplace. I thought there was. And here it is, Fabricator. Fabwatch is not on that list. Probably have to build it somewhere else then, maybe. Repairing charge will take two minutes. Well, it shouldn't be damaged, so I'll leave it as it. Academy skills. Uh, okay, so let's just read this real quick. Uh, whilst intent for operating use by a staff of eight, the targets can be fired by moderate success by single advanced time travel capsule plan. You can feel by something the blue stabilizers interacting with the context sensitive response. Okay, so disable the blue stabilizers. Basically, when you're flying, just disable the blue stabilizers and stuff. Uh, progress will be monitored via the logbook. Quantum mechanics for temporal engineers. I think that's what I'm doing. And then there's the biochemist. Uh huh. Oh, I get you. I, I see what you're saying. So we should have the lab open because that's another thing we can level up. Allowing unharvested produce to advance beyond two days can result in evolved biogens. Ah. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay, so basically, don't leave plants there alone. Wait, didn't I leave plants there alone? Shite. Oh, well, we'll deal with it another day. So, disable the blue stabilizers. That thing? No. Uh, look for something blue. Oh, those. Yeah. Do I have to, like, uh, go... I don't know how that works. I don't know. I don't think I should be messing with this stuff. Because <laughs> I'm going to just inevitably blow something up. I'll figure out how it all works, and then I will get back to you guys. And we will go on an adventure, or find a companion or something, and then we'll go on some wild, crazy adventures with our gear and equipment. Which is honestly not that impressive, but, you know, it's, it, it, it's enough. It's enough, so don't judge me. Actually, no, uh, backwards, backwards, put that there, and then put that there, and put the explosive thingy there, and I don't know what nitro is. I'm not going to put it anywhere. It's probably a grenade or something. That's interesting. Anyways, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. This has been a bit of a boring episode. I apologize. In the next episode, we will go out and explore a little bit outside, do a little building, maybe fly the TARDIS manually, and then maybe, just maybe... We'll see what your world is. Probably not, though, because I'm probably going to save that for its own episode. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyways, I'll see you next episode, guys. Talk to you later. Hello, hello. A ticket for Wonder Your World, where every day is a Christmas day.